Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. I am Don Burke, Dean of the Graduate School of Public Health and Associate Vice Chancellor for Global Health here at the University of Pittsburgh. Let me begin by conveying the sincere apologies of Chancellor Mark Nordenberg that he could not be here with us this evening. Last, last night, his mother sustained a fall at her home in Florida, and he promptly flew to be with her at the hospital. At this time, I'm relieved to report that although bruised, she does not appear to have any serious injuries. I know that Chancellor Nordenberg very much wanted to personally host this event because he asked that I send him an advanced copy of the book to read on his recent plane trip to China, which he did. In a note to me from Beijing, he told me that he found the book fascinating. Of course, given his storied eye for detail, he then went on to critique it. <laughs> Quote, on page 195, in the fourth line from the bottom, there is a reference to 100 that should be 1,000. I'm sure that someone has already ca caught that, but I thought you should pass it along to DA. <laughs> Mark surely did devour the book cover to cover, I can assure you. And we, because we began talking about this many weeks ago, I know that Chancellor Nordenberg was very excited, as am I, to be part of this program, launching the release of a compelling new book that chronicles what may be the greatest public health triumph of all time. The book's preface, written by the distinguished author Richard Preston, sets the stage as well as anyone could, effectively conveying both the clear sense of the historic toll extracted by this disease and of the individual suffering caused by it. Let me begin then by quoting a few lines from the, his pages. On October 26, 1979, the World Health Organization declared smallpox eradicated. No cases of smallpox had occurred anywhere on earth in the two years preceding. The smallpox virus, the cause of the worst infectious disease in history, had been removed from the human species. As much as anyone, D.A. Henderson was responsible for the eradication of smallpox. It was one of the noblest and best things that we have ever done as a species. In the last hundred years of its existence, smallpox is thought to have killed at least half a billion people. All of the wars on the planet during that time killed perhaps 150 million people. In the contest of smallpox versus war, war lost. Smallpox killed roughly one-third of the unimmunized people it infected, and the disease was grisly. Once a person was infected with smallpox, there was an incubation period of around 10 days before the person became noticeably sick. Then the person got high fever and aching pains. After two to three days, the patient developed a rash. It, this quickly rose into pustules. These were hard, pressurized blisters filled with clear, faint, opalescent pus. The pustules often merged into sheets, which was called confluent rash, and the patient was likely to die. They died of shock. Smallpox was a monster. It is our good fortune this afternoon to have two distinguished speakers who will discuss from different perspectives the defeat of this monster. One, of course, is our featured author, D.A. Henderson himself. The other is former U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services, Tommy Thompson. Secretary Thompson's career in public life spans more than 35 years and began in 1966 when he won a seat in the Wisconsin State Assembly. He was elected governor of Wisconsin in 1986, beginning what would be four terms of service until his appointment as Secretary of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services in 2001. In November 2001, Secretary Thompson named DA Dr. Henderson the director of the government's newly created Office of Public Health Emergency Preparedness and charged him with coordinating a national response to public health emergencies. Seven months later, Secretary Thompson announced that his, quote, exceptional friend and colleague, end quote, Dr. Henderson, 
had been selected as a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Many of you will recall that in 2002, Secretary Thompson joined former President George W. Bush and former uh, Pennsylvania Governor and then Secretary of Homeland Security Tom Ridge when they came to Pitt to publicly launch the nation's efforts to combat bioterrorism. Secretary Thompson entered the private sector in 2005 and serves as an independent uh, senior advisor of the Deloitte Center for Health Solutions and as a law partner in the Washington office of, Gump, of Aiken, Gump, Strauss, Hauer, and Feld. Secretary Thompson earned his, both his Bachelor of Science degree and his law degree from the University of Wisconsin, which is also the alma mater of our own Chancellor Nordenberg. Would you please join me in welcoming the, to the podium Secretary and Governor Tommy Thompson. <laughs> 